thank you so much for coming tonight. Let me just recognize a few people that are here today and that were able to put this event together. Diana and her husband, Peru. Where is Peru? Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Chandra, who's not here, she, she, as soon as I she's sick, so as soon as she re I reach out to them and ask them to do this event, they are like, yes, come me in. <laughs> so thank you so much. We, uh, as a, can a former candidate and a new candidate this year, I'd like to recognize a few candidates that are here today as well. I'm going to work my uh, first elected officials. We have City Council from Dumfries, Salonia Miles. <laughs> Candidates, we have Brian Fields, candidate for sheriffs for Prince William County. Yay. Yay. Joseph George, uh, candidate for school board for the Niasco District. Yay. Andrea Bailey, candidate for the Potomac District for the County Board. Yay. Aaron, who is running for the Occoquan District for the County Board of Supervisors. Yay. Running for sheriff. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much for being here today. Uh, um, many of you were part of the campaign. Most of you were part of my reelection campaign, and I never had the opportunity to formally say thank you for everything that you did to get me elected. On behalf of the freshman class and the Prince William County delegation, thank you for everything that you did to get us elected. To help us make history, all of the doors that you knock. All of the donations that you made help us flip the seats in Prince William County, and we are so close to get the, the majority. We were short one seat, but there's always a next election, and we all know that if we cannot change the minds of these uh, individuals who represent the GOP, we're going to change their seats. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it's just been... Um, it's been a year that it's been like drinking water from a fire hose. <laughs> Everything happens so fast. <laughs> you know, I, I went to Richmond and all of the delegates, the freshman delegates knew about what we did in Prince William County. And that helped me get elected as the chair of the freshman caucus. Yes. Oh. Yeah. 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 And you know, after that in January, when I was just getting settled and getting ready to present my bills, then I get this phone call to say that State of the Union rebuttal from Donald Trump. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time someone from Prince William County doing that response. So I want to thank you because it was because of you. You worked so hard on my campaign for that uh, people in Washington, D.C. and Capitol Hill knew what happened in Prince William County and knew about having the first Hispanic female immigrant elected in Prince William County. Yes. Yes. So thank you so much. Yeah, for yeah. 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 legislative session and we have great accomplishment and it's been just a year you know starting from criminal justice reform we increased the larceny threshold the felony larceny threshold from 200 to 500 dollars mm -hmm. with that we believe that we are going to reduce the amount of children of color trapped in the school to prisons pipeline yes legislation sponsor and co-sponsor a bill to put a floor on the gasoline sales tax and with that we brought seven million dollars to PRTC and 14 million dollars to BRE. increase in Prince William County and we also seen that there is a new service going now leaving Haymarket going to Crystal City mm -hmm. that we never had before. Yes, so yes, you yes. have seen the results of what it gets to what it is to elect Democrats mm -hmm. in yes. Richmond. Mm -hmm. yeah. Finally with Medicaid expansion we provided health insurance to four yes. Yes. <laughs> And you know, with that, we brought teacher salary increases. We have more beds for mental health facilities. We have more sheriffs, law enforcement. Across, we have a full-time principal for every elementary school. But there's still too much to do. There's still too much to do. I'm getting ready to go to Richmond on Wednesday. And we, I'm presenting 15 bills. And I want to recognize my staff, Christopher Flores, who's worked so hard. <laughs> going to be joining a uh, join as of January 1st, Rob Mogollon. Yeah. 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 We are 
are limited to present an amount of bills this year, 15 bills in the House of Delegates. I'm bringing 15. And so, I, so I'm, bringing six, I'm bringing six. I'm bringing 15. I'm bringing 15. <laughs> and then I'm I'm bringing that, 20. Yeah. I'm bringing a couple of resol I mean, they are joint House resolutions that they don't count against my 15 thing. God. <laughs> <laughs> but there is, uh, you know, we are already working really hard. We are ready to come back to Richmond. It's going to be a different year. Now we already know the process. Now we have what we have to do to get bills passed so it's going to be an interesting year for many of us in richmond so we are all excited just want to give you a little bit about what i'm bringing to richmond as democrats we believe in criminal justice reform so i'm bringing more bills to improve our criminal justice system when i see our african americans latinos muslims brothers and sisters being trapped in the criminal justice system it bothers me it bothers me and i think it is my job to change that. Yeah. And to that, with that, I'm gonna bring a couple of bills. One is to increase the age of a teenager to be trialed as an adult. Mm -hmm. Right now in Virginia, a 14 year old could be trialed oh, as an yeah. adult oh. and sent to an adult prison. Mm -hmm. So I wanna increase that to 16 years of age. It would be ideal to 18, but I know I don't have the numbers mm -hmm. to get the bills passed and I have to make some progress. And if I wait until we are the majority, it might be too late. Mm -hmm. And it'll be more children looking like that yes. being trapped mm -hmm. in the criminal yeah. justice yeah. system. So I have to do what I have to do. And I'm going to exclude a capital murder. I'm going to uh, exclude um, rape. I'm going to exclude all of, the, all of the crimes that are related to gangs. Because I know that my friends across the aisle, the first thing they're going to tell me is, what about the gun members in Prince William County? What do they do? So I'm excluding those as well. And with that, I'm also, I didn't know that a teenager could waive their Miranda rights when they are detained. Mm -hmm. Many of them don't know. I have children. And sometimes they don't understand what the rights are. Yeah. Or they don't understand what the consequences are when they have a felony charge in their criminal record. Mm -hmm. And then with that, they cannot get a government job. They cannot even work as a bus school driver if they get a felony charge. Mm -hmm. So I am bringing a bill that will prohibit that teenagers waive their Miranda rights. Yeah. The representation yeah. should be assigned to them. Yeah. 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 With, with all, most of you are familiar or know, and here's my brother from SEIU, former SEIU member. I'm a union member as well. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and she's the chair of the Labor Caucus in William County. So I am a, the vice president of AFSME Local 3001. So everything that had to do with the working class, I am in there. And I'm bringing a bill that will provide 24 hours of paid sick leave to all Virginians. If you are working full time after you pass your probationary period, which is 90 days or a year, whatever the regulations for the organization is, you will be allowed to go to the doctor. You will be allowed to use 24 hours mm -hmm. to go to the doctor yourself, to take your children to the doctor, to take your wife or take your parents to the doctor. As Democrats, when Obama, my favorite president, <laughs> presented you know, the Affordable Care Act, he did an amazing job. And we all agree that it's not the perfect, mm -hmm. but if we remember, we never, not, we never had something like that before. It was the first time. Yeah. And then with Medicaid expansion, we did a good job too. But what are we doing as legislators to provide the means for people to go to the doctor? Mm -hmm. For me, it's about preventive care. If, mm -hmm. if people don't go to the doctor, it doesn't matter if they have health insurance. They need to be allowed to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping to get bipartisan support with that. Common sense gun regulation, it's going to be our bread and butter in this legislative session. Again, we don't have the numbers, but we have to set the record straight. Mm -hmm. As Democrats, we know that prayers and thoughts are not enough. Mm -hmm. So we're coming back to fight, and we're going to set these Republicans on record, right. because they'll be yes. on the ballot. Yeah. 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 They'll be on the ballot in November, and we need to make sure that Virginians know what are their priorities and how they are against Virginians' benefits. Finally, you know, I climate change is very important to me. Mm -hmm. When I, as Democrats, we know that climate change is real. Mm -hmm. And when I think about climate change, I think about my children. I don't want my children 20 years from now to think that they won't be able to enjoy what we are enjoying today. Mm -hmm. And when they know that their mom was in elected office and didn't do anything to change that, I have nightmares. So I have to do something, and I'm bringing uh, also many bills that will pro protect our climate, starting by banning the plastic usage. Mm -hmm. 
we the plastic used by <coughs> get into our river in the Chesapeake Bay, contaminate our watershed, and we need to protect the clean air and clean water, and I'm bringing that bill as well. It's gonna be more, it's 15 bills. I would invite you, if you if visit lis.virginia.gov, so you could know more about not only me, but all of the legislators in <coughs> Prince William County, how hard we're working in Richmond. Come and visit. If there's any bill that you care about, please come and testify. I'm bringing bills on special education and children with disabilities, you know, when we have yes. a special education, and I know that in the school system, you cannot, not even IDHD, ADHD could be codified in the public school system. Mm -hmm. I mean, that bothers me. Yeah. So we need to have the DSM-5 aligned with the special education so teachers yeah. could codify it mm -hmm. and they, they could get more resources depending on the disability that the children have. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm also bringing a study for special education yes. because it is, it is just sad when you, I observe a, a classroom here in, Freedom High School, and everything the children with disabilities that they do is they just go to the cafeteria and go into circles, and that's everything that they could do for a day. That's the hour that they spend. They go into circles, even on the wheel in the wheelchair, and they just go. I mean, no, that's wrong. They could do more, and we, I, I am there to be their voice. So I'm bringing that bill as well. I know there's a different type of disabilities. Sometimes those disabilities doesn't have to do with your skills. So I'm bringing a bill that when a Virginian with disabilities apply for a job and the disabilities doesn't have to do with the job that they're gonna perform, they should be hired. Yeah. They should Thank have you. a preference mm -hmm. to be hired and be the first priority. Mm -hmm. And there's more. So please visit <laughs> lisvirginia.gov. Uh, it is an honor to represent Prince William County in Richmond. Thank you for helping me get elected. 2019, it's in November 5th, it's gonna be the day we're gonna, we're, we're gonna make history in Prince William County. Yes. Yes. We're gonna take over the House of Delegates, we're gonna take over the State Senate, we're gonna flip the County Board of Supervisors. Oh, yes. 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 yes! We're gonna take the full majority yes. in the school, we're gonna yes. have six Democrats yes. representing mm -hmm. the interests yes. of our children. Yeah. And it's gonna be tough. So I'm gonna ask you one more time, please, all of the job, that we made in 2017, we have to double up. Mm -hmm. yep. There's so much yes. ahead of us. We are fighting against xenophobia, homophobia, sexism, racism, yes. everything that yes. happened in this county. Yes. It's ridiculous mm -hmm. that we're not able to, to ratify the yeah. ERA. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna tell me <laughs> when, when <laughs> I'm being discriminated or not. They don't know, they don't know that. Yeah. And when you see, these women that are against women's rights, mm -hmm. shame on them. Yeah. Yeah. Shame on them, and they won't be yeah. reelected in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. And we're finally going to retire Cory Stewart. Yeah. 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 He needs to go back wherever he can. Yeah. Oh, Minnesota. 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 Send it. We don't want him over here. <laughs> go back. You yeah. are not part in Prince William County. Yeah. And when I ran, I said that I was running for my children. I didn't want my children to feel like they were less of an American because they were brown or their last name was Guzman. Mm -hmm. And when I said I was fighting for all hardworking Virginians, and when I see our governor, Ralph Northam, talking about Virginia being a place for lovers, but it's a place for lovers because of its diversity, mm -hmm. I can describe how emotional I get. Mm -hmm. But there's so much ahead of us. There's so much to do still. Please get your candidate that you like, get behind them, help them get elected. Mm -hmm. And as Democrats, we need to remember after the primaries that we are Democrats. Yes. Yes. And we Absolutely. need to get yes. behind each other. Yes. Yes. We know what happens when we are divided. That's right. And That's we don't right. want 2016 want again right. here. Yeah. Right. So there's yeah. no time to get divided. We need to get behind. Remember that at the end of that day, we are all Democrats and what we mm -hmm. care about. And we have to look at November 5th, that we, what we wanted to do. So please, I'll be calling you. I want to see you supporting <laughs> your candidate that you are going to help them get elected. You know, we have to do better. We have to remember that we're Democrats and we have to flip whatever we could flip this November 6th. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you for all of the support that you have given me for the last <coughs> few years. This is going to be my first year where I'm going to be a campaign doing a campaign, I want to legislate. <laughs> <laughs> I work full time, I work part time, but I will make 
make it work. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm excited. When I, saw, when I saw the amount of women running for office in 2018, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. that's what it matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want my daughters to feel that they could achieve anything mm -hmm. they want. And I want to do it for your daughters as well. Mm -hmm. So please work really hard to flip all of those seats that is ahead of us in 2019 yeah. because it is time for change in Prince William County. Mm -hmm. It is time it's to time. be proud of the yeah. diversity of Prince William County, and we're gonna need your help to do that this November 5th. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm leaving to Richmond. Please come and say hi in Richmond. I'm, I'm excited, and I hope to see you there. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe that it's been a little over two years since the first time I heard you speak. Oh. And she, she was good then, she's better now. <laughs> she was really good then. She had a plan, and I didn't know either one, and I was very impressed. And I've worked a lot of campaigns, and I can think of only two or three where when I was close, really working the campaigns, that at the end of the campaign, I still respected, I may have liked what they were doing, but I still respected the candidate even more than when I started. And that's this lady. Oh, and yeah. uh, she's just a hard worker and she's mm -hmm. there and she listens. Uh, and we love you. So oh, cheers. 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 Thank you so much. Where's yours? Where's yours? Yes. Oh, no, oh, she drank her. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing. If you've given, you can give more. She has no limit. <laughs> if you haven't given, Chris will take it. I will take it and give it to Chris. We will borrow the doors, whatever it takes. Uh, I'm not borrowing any doors. <laughs> Seriously, we all know we have candidates here. It takes money. It's an unfortunate part of our race. It shouldn't be this way. Yeah, and so whatever you can give, please yeah. give. And we haven't brought enough of what happened here in Prince William County in 2017. You know, mm -hmm. Prince William County in the past, we were not able to <coughs> fundraise money before. I was the best fundraiser in the country in the state legislators. Ooh. But you helped me to get there. And it was $5,000, a million dollars. It was those $50, yep. $25, the $100 that you gave me. Those all add up. Mm -hmm. And you need to help me and help all of the candidates that are in this room. Campaigns cost money, unfortunately, but we need the money to communicate. Six, uh, Sixty-nine percent of the population in Prince William County work outside. Mm -hmm. So we won't be able to come and get them at the doors mm -hmm. when we want to tell them about our campaign and how awesome we are. <laughs> <laughs> so the only way to do that is to send mailers, to do a radio ad, to do a TV ad, and all of that costs money. We are so close to Washington, D.C. that our media market is so expensive. Yeah. A week of TV costs about $32,000. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But you know, you have the best fundraisers in the state here in Prince William County, and it was because of you, so we have all of my clients.